multiplied by two. My 1,000 units of prayers for one tasbih of Zahra alayhi salam. One tasbih. After your prayers now, next time you decide to get up and run off, just sit down and recite this because understand the reality of the sixth imam. It removes problems and calamities from your life. Second thing, third thing now, now that we're on it, many people have been messaging from all over the world, from Australia, from India, from Mumbai. They're listening. I've got all the messages there. Can you tell us what you recited a couple of nights ago? Because the voice went. I take it as a sign that for in one hour, if 30 seconds goes when I was reciting the verses, maybe Allah didn't want other people to know those verses. But one thing that I can tell you is this, that very simply do this in your life. Recite the Tasbih of Fatima. One thing. The second thing one needs to recite is this. It will remove all of the problems from your life. And I guarantee this. I saw Ayatollah Ishtahardi do this. I've seen this with my own eyes when he was sitting in the Haram of Ma'asam al -Qum. I saw him reciting something. I went to him to listen to what it was. I heard it. I went back to one of my teachers. I said, that, what is the secret behind this? He says, if a person every day was to recite Salawat 1,000 times, you would slowly see their problems alleviating. When you get to an age, right, when you're older, when you're older and you have problems with diabetes and blood problems and all of these things, right? If from the age of 40 you were to start and it's not even late at the age of 62 if you were to sit down and start reciting 1000 salawats every single day whatever problem would come the, the salam of the imam would be on you that it would be like a force field around you it removes problems for your life but more than this if you look at the fadail of salawat it says allah increases your life lifespan increases your health begins to improve the other thing is what problems are removed from your life but the final thing and the most important thing is that on the moment of your deathbed, Rasulullah comes to you and he will kiss you before you die. Imagine this. You've lived all of your life. And who comes? The grandfather of Sayyid the shahada comes. And he comes and he kisses you just before you die. Isn't that something to live for? Isn't that something to work for? Final thing. Final thing so we understand. And I'm saying all of these things that have no side effects. As you know, for every name of Allah... There's a byproduct as well. Allah Matabata says. He says that there are a couple of things though that have no side effects. What did we mention? This of Zahra alayhi salam, salawat, and the final thing, istighfar. Istighfar removes problems from your life. Those people who don't have children, it gives you children. If your husband and wife both, for example, were to recite it a particular thousand times, I'm not going to mention it on, on air, if somebody wants to privately men message me, you can do. I mentioned on the first two nights, right? All of my friends who have recited this nuskha from Imam Hassan, because today is maksus for Imam Hassan's son, every single person I've come across has recited this nuskha. Not one missing or this person. Every single hundred percent. Seven years, ten years, fifteen years, and never any children. When they recited this nuskha from Imam Hassan, about these tikhfars, about how many thousand times every day, within 40 days their wife became pregnant. Seeing this. And I can bring forward to you all of those people. Istighfar is important, therefore. Istighfar is important for what? Not just for that, for risk, for problems, for marriage. People who are not getting married, if they were to recite istighfar, become da'im of dhikr. Whenever you feel like it, start reciting.